Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your 13th CSS tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to style tables using CSS. And actually in HTML tutorials 18 and 19, if you haven't watched those, we learned how to create tables uh, as well as some of the attributes that you can use when styling or uh, creating tables using HTML. And while these allow you uh, to do a bunch of different things with tables, they don't allow you the freedom and flexibility that you can have uh, when styling tables using CSS. And CSS is going to add a bunch of different uh, things that we can do to the tables uh, that just aren't available in plain HTML. So uh, if you notice real quickly, we're using Windows again for this tutorial. And uh, right here, just like in the previous couple tutorials, we just have a header one tag that we centered uh, using HTML. There is no uh, CSS involved with that. So if we come over here, you'll notice that our HTML page is just, uh, again, that header one tag. And we've linked to our style sheet called styles.css, uh, which is in the same directory. And uh, that's blank as well, so no CSS is being applied to this page uh, right now. So what we're going to do is come over here, and we're going to create a table. So we're just going to create a table. We're not going to give it an ID or a class, um, as this tutorial is just going to teach you how to style tables, and you can apply the ID or class selector uh, as you wish for your web page. So we're just going to end that table tag there. And within this table, we're going to have uh, three rows and then three columns in each row. So uh, let's go ahead and do that using the tr tag, if you remember. And then within the table row, we're going to use td tags, which stands for table data. And uh, these are essentially the columns of the table, so we're going to set up three of them. And now what we're going to do is just copy and paste this uh, so we can save some time with typing all that. Uh, so we'll just come in here real quick and say row 1, column 1, row 2, column 2. Oops, sorry, that's row 1, column 2 row 1, column 3, row 2, column 1, row 2, column 2, row 2, column 3, and finally the third row uh, and its columns here. Ooh, typo. All right, so now what we can do is save this, come over here to our index.html and refresh. And you'll notice that now we have uh, a table that has three rows and then three columns. Um, however, you'll notice the the, tab the rows and columns in the table aren't very separated, and it's kind of hard to see uh, what's doing what within the table. And if you look at it real quick, you're not going to be able to tell uh, you know, what data goes with what row and column. So we're going to be styling the table using CSS to uh, get a better view at the table, make, maybe make things appear more organized. Uh, and separated, and we're also going to learn how to change the color of the borders and stuff like that. Um, so let's come back over here to our CSS, and nothing's going to be done on this HTML page. Whatever we have here is uh, basically it for the um, HTML that we're going to be doing uh, for the most part. But if we come over here, we can actually style the table by giving it a border using the table uh, selector, and we're going to be selecting all the tables on a page. Again, if you have um, uh, more than one table, you can select it using a class selector, like maybe the main uh, or an ID selector like that. Um, but we're just going to be focusing on all tables in this tutorial, and you can adjust uh, your CSS code accordingly. So the property in CSS that we can use for borders, uh, for whether it be for tables or divs or anything, is just border. And we're going to add a colon, and then we're going to say, um, this is actually a shorthand property, so we're going to uh, specify basically the border's uh, thickness, what type of border, whether it's solid, dashed, dotted, and then the color. So we're going to say one pixel, solid, and then black for our table's border. So if we save this, come over here uh, to the Google Chrome and refresh, you'll notice that now our table, uh, the table itself has a border around it, but the rows and columns, uh, or the table data cells, do not have any uh, borders around them. And we can change that by coming over here and saying uh, TD for table data. And if we come over here, we can say border. Uh, again, we're going to say one pixel solid black. So it's going to give our table a uh, pretty uniform look to it. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now our table is separated. Uh, it has more space in it, and it's more organized. You can see um, you know, what's what. Uh, but we're going to learn a quick tip real, real quick. If we come over here, we can actually say uh, table, and we can say td for table data. And what this is going to do is it's going to apply whatever's within this code block here to both the table and the table data uh, cells. So if we come over here and refresh, you notice we have the same thing ev uh, even though we deleted our other line of code there. So 
Another thing that we're going to be learning about tables is the border collapse property. And what the border collapse property allows you to do is basically take these two borders here, you can see that there's two lines, uh, and separate them down into one. And that's just basically a style choice. So we can come in here and we can say border collapse. And if we want to collapse them down into one border, all you have to do is just say collapse. So we can save this, come over here and refresh, and you'll notice that now that our table has uh, just one uh, simple unified border, uh, and it doesn't look like there's two of them there. So another thing that we can do with tables is adjust the width and the height of the table data columns uh, and things like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and what we're going to do is we're going to say table again. And if we wanted to apply the width and the height to both the table and the table data, we could add it in here. Uh, but we're just going to show you what to do with the table itself. So if we come over here and say width, we can adjust the width of the table. For example, if we want it to be uh, 500 pixels wide, we can save this, come over here and refresh, and notice that our table is now 500 pixels wide. The height property, on the other hand, uh, we can say uh, 500 pixels high, and you'll notice our table is also uh, 500 pixels high. So it kind of looks like a bingo card of sorts. But anyway, uh, that's how you can adjust the width and the height of the table itself. Uh, if you want to adjust the table data columns, you can say TD, and you can say, for example, uh, height, and we can say, let's say 100 pixels. And if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now our table rows or table data columns uh, have the height of 100 pixels. Uh, another thing that we can do is specify the width. So we can say width, and we can say maybe um, 200 pixels just for some uh, emphasis here. And if we refresh, you'll notice that now uh, each each uh, table row, uh, table column, or table data column uh, element has a width of 200 pixels. So uh, let's go ahead and go back. And now we're going to talk about how to pad a table. And padding the table basically means um, we can we can, uh, if we actually come over here and save this first, you can see that there's not much space between the, t the text and the table data columns or table data elements and the um, outsides. And we can change that by padding the table uh, columns. So we can say table, TD for table data, and we can give it some padding. So padding, and we'll say maybe 10 pixels. And what this is going to do is it's going to add some space all around the, um, to all four sides of the table data elements. So if we refresh, you notice that now our table is a little bit more clean looking. Um, all of the, the uh, text and the elements are cent is centered, and uh, basically it's more organized so you can tell what you're doing. What we can do also is change the color of the border in the table, and you can do that just by coming over here and modifying the color here. So we can say, uh, for example, border green. And if we save this, come over here and refresh, you'll notice that now our border is green. Um, for example, if you want to add a background to a table, which is something that might go along with the border, uh, you can say background color, and uh, let's say that we're going to add a, a gray color to our, our table. We can just say gray and refresh. Now you notice our table has a green border and a gray background. And uh, depending on the color combinations you want, you can do something like this, or uh, you can use an image uh, using the CSS background um, property. It's up to you basically what you want to try doing. And there's just one more thing I want to talk about within the table, and that's how do you align the text. Uh, and this can be important if you have a pretty large table or your table spaced out pretty well. Um, there are a couple different things you can do to align the text. And if we come over here, we can do that by saying text, text align, so A-L-I-G-N. And you can spe specify it as right, left, or center. Uh, so for example, if we want to align the text to the left of the table data elements, we can just refresh. And uh, here you're not going to really notice it in our table, but it should align to the left. And uh, let's say, for example, we want to align it vertically, as in if you want it to be toward the top, the middle, or the bottom of the table data element, uh, you can do that by saying, uh, by saying vertical align, and then you can say either, you know, uh, top, bottom, and things like that. So if we save this, come over here and refresh, uh, you'll notice that again nothing's happened because basically we have we, I don't believe we have enough space in our table but uh, that's basically how you go about aligning uh, tables and styling tables in CSS um, you can try playing around with all the different features and colors and uh, try maybe changing table uh, headers and changing table data uh, elements and just to see what the different um, you know results you can get that's one of the best ways to learn uh, if you want more information you can come over here to w3schools.com 
and check out uh, how to style tables. They give you a pretty uh, unique uh, and interesting way to do it. You can try it yourself on their website. And there's more information about table headers uh, and HTML tables on their website as well if you need a refresher. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, uh, please feel free to post a comment below. You can also tweet me at twitter.com slash jamiemcg, uh, or you can uh, send me an email using the Technical Cafe contact form at technicalcafe.com. So thank you for watching, and have a great day.